Many of you saw the BBC programme Dying for Clear Skin and today I am here with Will who is one of the key participants in that documentary and today in Harley Street Will is having his ninth treatment and we're here to find out how he's getting on. So at the time of the BBC programme when it was aired you were on your fourth treatment, what's been going on since then? Um, my skin wasn't perfect then, it was like, it was close to being perfect but obviously it's going to take a bit more time and since then I've had five more treatments and um, the skin's got so much better. Uh, we started scar revision, um, that's got rid of the scars. It takes a long time though, but there's been an improvement with that. And then just loads more peels and washes every two weeks, really. So Will, when did you first start suffering from acne and how did it affect your life? Um, well, I started suffering about two years ago and it started out mild and it progressed over the last two years. It's got worse worse and it got to the point where it was severe, really severe cystic acne and it, it just changed my life, changed my usual self. I wasn't I wasn't me anymore. You know, I wouldn't look at people in the eye. I'd, I'd stop, you know, making conversation with people. I, I'd get to a point where I wouldn't even talk to my mum and dad in, or look at my close friends or anything like that. There was a huge amount of interest in the BBC programme and since then Will has become almost a star in the world of, of skin complaints and acne treatments. Now um, one of those things that Will's been involved in is he's actually got his own blog. Now Will, tell us a little bit about this blog of yours. Lots of people have reached out, you know, I get a few messages each night or emails, Facebook messages or, or from every single website I can think of that I've got. People like will inbox my like, giant messages you know, ask me, oh, what can I do? It makes me feel like this, or oh, you're an inspiration and stuff like that. It's just like, there's this like, whole party of people that suffer in silence, and like, they're all like, sort of coming out from like, under the woodwork. How does it make you feel? Like, you're re representing a lot of people out there with yeah. different skin complaints, aren't you now? It makes me feel pretty good, actually. I, I quite enjoy helping people out. You've been on quite a big journey. What would be your advice to other people out there? Uh, well, number one would be that you're not alone. That's one thing. Um, number two would be not to keep it locked up. Talk to people about it, talk to your family about it, talk to your friends about it. Um, it's, you'll get a different response than what you think. Like From your friends and family, they're there to support you and they will support you. And the more you're open about it, the better you feel inside about it. And the more like um, you can accept yourself and people around you will accept you more and you know they can help you out. Yeah, and, and thirdly, it would be that there's a way out of it. There is treatment that can be done. So Will, what are we doing today? So I'm in London, Harley Street at the DMK clinic and it's my final treatment of the series. Let's go and check it out, shall we? This is the first part of the treatment. I'm just cleansing Will's skin, uh, making sure he hasn't picked up any dirt from outside. And this is a very, very gentle, uh, soft brush. It's made from goat's hair and it, it won't irritate the skin. Often acne skin is very sensitive and um, a nice gentle brush like this will feel quite pleasant on the skin. Now I'm just removing all the um, cleanser. Again, very gently removing with this gentle cloth. You notice that there's no sort of harshness in any of the treatment. Now we go on to the second stage of the treatment. And what I'm going to do here is to mix a product called Sebum Soak, which is this one. And what this will do, it will spiral down into the plugs, into the skin, which will soften all the waxes that have been built up in the skin. And I'm mixing it with a thing called Aquity Herbs. And I'm just working this really into the skin. No heavy pressure, but it is going into the skin quite nicely. And it'll go on the face, also on the chest and neck. With all the Danae products, you can go really close to the eyes, because very often you'll find that there's lots of melia around eyes, and they definitely need to be softened up so that um, we can remove them. OK, so that's been applied. So the next stage is to apply cling film might seem a bit strange to be putting cling film on somebody's skin, but what this does, because it's plastic, it will actually make the skin perspire, and when the skin perspires, the pores open up, 
So it's another way of just getting that product really where we want it to be, right down deep in the pores of the skin. So we're making sure that we cover up all of the skin, all of the skin where the product has been. Right, now over the, the um, cling film, we then place a warm towel. With, this will aid the penetration again by adding some warm heat from the towel. And um, with, with Will, Will's own body heat, this will provide exactly the right temperature for what we need to do with the skin, which is to soften the dead skin cells and soften up the plugs in the skin. It's usually quite nice and soothing on the skin when we do this. It's a nice, warm, soothing feeling of just gentle heat. And this will just stay on for a couple of minutes. This is um, when we're applying uh, three products mixed together. One of them is called Prozine, and that's an, uh, that is um, a meat eater. It's an enzyme. And then the other products that I've got in here are some AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids. Uh, one of them is salicylic acid, and the other uh, four are malic acid, lactic acid, glycolic acid, and citric acid. And they've all got their own little jobs to do um, on further exfoliation of the dead skin cells. Also, the citric acid will hydrate internally in the skin. So that's very good. Um, so we've got the meat eaters going in there, eating up all the dead protein, dead skin cells. Everything that's dead within the skin is going to be devoured by this prozine. And, um, and then the other products that we've got on the other acids, they're going to pop off any other dead skin cells. They make the skin cells go hard and brittle, and then they pop off. So what the patient will feel is a sort of a slight tingly sensation with this. So now the next stage is to apply the cling film once again, um, and this aids the heat in the prozine. So prozine is activated by heat. So again, adding the, the um, cling film will allow that to happen because, because of the plastic. It warms the skin and just makes penetration so much easier. So we're spreading the cling film all across the chest area. Just where the products have been applied. The next part of the treatment will be to add some more heat to the skin. So just with our soft cloths, are going to go over the top of the cling film and just adding some nice warmth to the skin. And Prozine does work much better when heat has been added to it. So now this is the um, enzyme treatment part of the treatment <coughs> and uh, Dane is uh, really famous for these enzymes. They do miraculous things. Um, we are going to um, open up the capillaries and back flush the capillaries. So what that means is we're going to flush out all the toxins that are in the uh, bloodstream and um, then when the um, capillaries start to close that will take everything down into the whole body and the body will disperse of it through the bloodstream. This is um, a warm towel, quite wet one, um, and softening the enzymes up so they start to melt down and release from the skin. We're just removing the um, enzymes uh, from the face uh, they will take a few minutes to really dissolve and then all the capillaries, we'll see all the capillaries wide open. It's already starting to happen in the chest. When you've had the enzymes on for 45 minutes like Will has just done, um, it's a lovely release when they start to come off because they are quite tight and there is a sort of gentle pulsating feeling going on. 
um, in the skin. It doesn't hurt or anything, but it's a little bit unusual as the skin begins to pulse. I'm going to start to rebuild the skin now. So um, we've taken everything away from the skin. We've got no acid mantle on the skin, which is very important. So I'm going to put the acid mantle back on the skin for Will to be able to go home. So the first thing I'm going to use is this product called Herb and Mineral Spray. So I'm just going to spray the skin. Really saturating it. And this is uh, imitating the pseudofurious glands, which are responsible for the liquids or fluids that are in our skin. So I'm putting all that back. Um, I'm also going to now apply some beta gel and vitamin C. Vitamin C is very good to repair the skin, um, particularly of any sort of um, scar tissue. It'll help to rebuild the skin. There's hardly anybody who won't benefit from beta gel because it really strengthens the skin. Um, and because we're constantly attacked by free radicals, it'll get rid of any damage that we just get on a daily basis, even if we haven't got um, a particular pro a problem with our skin. It just keeps it stronger. Um, it strengthens a thing called the Langerhans cells, which are very important to us. And um, it's um, a fantastic healer, calms things down. I'm just going to uh, finish off now with some um, nutritional cream. Well, it's the, the treatment is completely finished now. I've rebuilt his skin, given his skin, his skin lots of nutrition, um, amino acids, proteins, vitamins, all the things that we need to rebuild to have a healthy skin. Um, we've also got in the acid mantle, is back on the skin now, so it's quite safe to go outside. Um, that's our protective layer that we really do need to have in place. And with acne skin, um, often the acid mantle is disrupted, so making sure that it's back onto the skin is very good for acne skin. Will, how did your ninth treatment go? Really well, yeah. It was relaxing, you know, uh, usual good results like, every time. It's the final one of your first course of treatment, so yeah. are you really pleased with how the results are so far? No, oh, yeah, you know, outstanding, amazing, you know. I didn't think I'd have got this far with the treatment, but it just shocked me a lot every single time. Having seen Will today and seen the photographs, how bad his skin was two years ago, I cannot believe the transformation. You wouldn't even realise he had any problems at all. Now, if you want to get hold of Will, you can either contact him on his blog or even on his Twitter page.